as I'm packing up the office here a little bit today, there's a video dropping about the office, where we, how we got it, where it is, everything dropping probably in a couple days soon. So keep an eye out for that. But I'm packing it up right now and I'm thinking about the year. I'm really excited, feeling really motivated after coming back from my time in Michigan. You know, just rubbing elbows with some of my good buddies and going for runs in the snow and all that. And it's that side of things the running in the snow that I really want to dive into a little bit deeper. Not the snow, particularly. Thankfully, there's no snow here right now. I love snow, but it's, you know, pretty when it's outside and you're inside and it's the trudging through it that I'm not necessarily as into. But the point is that I, I made that resolution that I was going to get into the gym this year. And rather than get into the gym specifically, I think I want to do more classes. I've been doing a spin class with my buddy Paul. I've been approached by Vitamin Well, a Swedish vitamin water company, asking if I want a whole bunch of free water from them and maybe access to some cool things. And you know what? I figure why not? So over the course of the rest of this year, I'm going to try a whole bunch of random classes in Paris. I don't even know what's out there. I was looking at getting a gym membership for a while there, and I still might. But then, I don't know, there's just a bunch of really cool classes like yoga, boxing, cycling. There's a ballet sculpting course. I, I don't know. I'm open to whatever. So I figured, why not make a series about getting fit in Paris? I, I need to get fit. I've been in maintenance mode for a long time. My running has been much more geared towards just keeping, you know, from totally losing it than actually progressing and advancing. Cycling with Paul has been fantastic because it's super intense and it's good cross training. And I really like that classroom environment because it holds you accountable. It's a little bit social and usually pushes you farther than you'd be able to go on your own. So figured in that spirit, let's go out and see what Paris has to offer. And then if you're coming through town or you live here or whatever, I don't know, you don't have to come to Paris to get fit. I'll just tell you what I think about the different styles of classes that I run into as I go. So with that, I have to get up really, really early, really, really early for the first one. Of course, the hidden benefit to having the strike go on for so long is it got me in the habit of riding my bike a lot. So I run, you know, to keep my running up. I'm not getting any faster, really, because I've just been in maintenance mode. But now I bike a lot too, which is not double the exercise, but definitely increases it by a solid, you know, 30% or more if I do it every day. It's a good way to get around and it's a good way to get a little bit of exercise. Wake up in the morning, which is what I'm doing right now, which you definitely need. Like this morning, getting up at like 5.30 in the morning, well even earlier than 5.30, Sarah came and picked me up at like, to go do what, like the inverse of, of a nightclub, but at six in the morning, starting with yoga and then two hours of dancing, is that basically what we're doing? Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. You'll see. She says that. <laughs> It's early. We'll find out. It's it'll be, it'll be great. If nothing else, I'll I'll sweat my way to awakeness. And she also gave me a, a drink called Awake, so that's a good start. And away we go. We're going to this. So Station F is the place that we're headed, which is like this startup park. I don't know. I've been here for dinner once with John. It was tasty. And now we're going to go stretch and dance the morning way. I think we're here really early, though. I think it's starting now, though. It's 541. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like everyone's gonna probably set things up. I guess I'm here with the setup crew. This is 20 minutes we could have spent sleeping. <laughs> I've never done yoga in French before, I have no idea what's going on. Well that was great! And that's a good way to wake up and beat, hopefully, jet lag. How are you? Awesome, but I feel now. You, well, you didn't do yoga with this. No, that would have woken you up. I'm just drinking. That. <laughs> but wait. Yeah. Okay, well, 
Some, but we are having very different experiences between us. We're gonna go, we're, but tomorrow, we're doing the ballet sculpting tomorrow. Yeah. Are you gonna actually do the class then? I might. Okay. She's roping me into a bunch of exercise she's not gonna do. I don't know how I feel about this. Of course, Paris offers lots of ways of keeping us healthy on its own like stairs, lots and lots of stairs, whether you're going up and down in the metro or walking to the metro or walking wherever you're going. I bike a lot, as you just saw, but it's definitely not enough. Like I wanna be more fit. And that's why things like the yoga class yesterday were a lot of fun, where you get to do yoga for an hour and then you have a dance party and just kind of put whatever you got into it that early in the morning, which was a little bit less than I would have liked, honestly. I wasn't quite in the dancing energy levels that I would have liked to have been, but it was still a lot of fun. And going to classes like this offers a level Level of accountability that I wouldn't otherwise have, which is cool and also a little bit scary sometimes because to be honest, there's something a little bit intimidating about walking into a class you know nothing about, you don't know anybody and you're going in and you know, it's taking a risk. And I feel that, I feel a little bit awkward going into it, but I'm also excited to go out meet people and try some new things, try to be a little bit more active. So I'm here, I think at the right place, for this ballet sculpting course. I looked it up online. It's gonna be intense with Swedish Fit. Found the door. Hopefully they'll let me bring my bike inside. And if not, well, you know, we'll figure it out from there. I am about as far from a legit ballerina as exists. <laughs> And then I'm gonna just go up the stairs and it's there. Okay, sweet. So, okay, cool. I don't know what I caught on video there, but uh, apparently there are 25 women in here and one other guy. And I, the way I put it a minute ago, is I'm gonna look like a, I said seal, but in honest, with like the mustache, I'm gonna look like a walrus at a penguin party. So then apparently there's like a legit, you know, a real ballerina here. So prepare to see a lot of gracelessness. Surrounded by a ton of grace. Let's go. That is apparently the full vitamin well service right there. Get photos after your classes. I think I'll do a goofy one. It was unbelievable. You know, put that stuff. We can do a little product placement here. It's true. She looks. As opposed to me, I look like a ham sandwich. Okay, that was really, really, really fun. I'm not gonna be a ballerina anytime soon, that's for sure. But it was it was great. That was about an hour and a half. Sorry, this is really echoing here. Hold on a second, maybe it'll get better as I get into the men's locker room. Yeah. It was really active. We started out with some warm-ups and then got into like the cardio portion of the dancing and then did some really brutal core exercises, which 
If you've seen any show, shots of me from this video, you know my core needs some tightening. So uh, yeah, that was great. I definitely want to do that again. Ellen was the teacher. She was fantastic. And yeah, I'm definitely, I'll definitely do another one of these courses again. I'm having fun just being active. This is great. Anyways, I'm gonna change. Actually, am I gonna change? I gotta ride my bike home. I'm gonna stay in my nacho shirt. Thanks, Champagne Gang. And uh, we'll talk about this here in a second. I still have a 40 minute bike ride home after that. Oh boy. And there you have it, a little bit of fitness in Paris. If you enjoyed this, please be sure to let me know below between the sculpting and the yoga and the dancing. I'm definitely fe feeling it today. It's good, it's a great feeling. I'm gonna be doing some more stuff here in the near future. I'm gonna go boxing, another yoga class, probably try to get into a different type of spin class. I don't know, but I'm gonna be, 2020 for me is gonna be the year of being active. Like I really wanna be active again. I'm really enjoying it. And yeah, if you wanna join me in that, I'll keep telling you what the experiences are like and maybe you can try a class or two wherever it is you are as well. And we can all be active together. Be kinda of cool. I'm uh, still playing around with the Osmo. I basically filmed this entire episode with the exception of a couple of shots that I took on my phone on the Osmo. Really enjoying it, and I will continue to play around with it and let you know how that goes as time goes on. But yeah, thanks again to Vitamin Well. To explain what's going on there as well, they approached me about being a brand ambassador, so we're in this kind of like month-long trial right now just to see if we like each other very much, which I think we do. Sarah's been great. She's been really, really fun. And uh, so this video is not technically sponsored, like they didn't pay for anything, but they did get me into these events for free, and they are hooking me up with lots of delicious free drinks. And so... Thanks to Sarah for taking me along to all these things, and I'm sure we'll be hanging out more here in the near future. Vitamin Well is a very European thing, though, so for those of you that are in America, you probably can't get it. But if you're in France or anywhere else in Europe, it's a Swedish drink. Give it a try. It's really tasty. I actually do enjoy it a lot. And Richard and Kate have approved so far as well, so that's been nice. So that's been good. Anyways, I'm going to finish editing this, and then i got to go finish packing up the office and find out how windy this footage is. I'm testing that's kind of half the test is to see how it handles being on the wheel. And I'll see you bright and early later this week. I'm going to drop the office video here soon. And then, you know, see you next week for yet more whatever it is that this is. Thanks for watching. Whoa.